So at the end of 2012, in partnership with BBC who broadcast the draws, we decided to undertake a refresh of how the draws are presented and focus on our flagship draw, which is Saturday night on BBC One. That meant that we had our other draws for the rest of the week, which we could choose to deliver in a different way to our audience and our players, and that enabled us to continue Camelot's commitment to innovation, deliver it to our online audience through our YouTube channel, um, and also embed that into our National Tree website. When we knew that we were going to take the draws online, we knew that there would be considerably less people involved in the production process and obviously that meant uh, choosing a piece of technology that would enable us to, to reduce the amount of people but still getting the same amount of capability that we would have perhaps in a normal TV studio. We chose the TriCaster under recommendation from our production partner Endemol because it fully enabled us to streamline our production processes specifically for our draw show output. The specifics for us was something that would be very portable and, and more importantly, especially for me, user friendly. You know, I, I'm, I'm a kind of a producer by trade, not, not so much an engineer. So it was important for me to be able to use something that I know that I could learn and use and get to grips with in a relatively short space of time. We have five remote head cameras, all of which are fed in through the TriCaster via SDI, and we record all five feeds uh, simultaneously, and we vision mix between the five feeds. Another really useful feature is the virtual inputs on the TriCaster. It allows us to do um, many different things at once, which if we did it in a gallery, it would take more than one person. The lottery tends to be quite an intricate process, so we can do the graphics at the same time as we can do the music and the voice cues. The Euro Millions draw is a little different to Lotto and Thunderball because it doesn't take place here in the studio, it takes place in Paris. We therefore take a satellite feed uh, straight into the TriCaster and the TriCaster applies a crop for us which enables us to put our own brand graphics on uh, and that's something that um, has really speeded the process up for us because we used to have to do it solely in an edit. What the TriCaster also allows us to do is export to the required codec for YouTube as well, so we, we can just take it straight from the TriCaster into the laptop and then up. I'm very happy with the TriCaster, it hasn't let us down. You know, and a year ago when, when this was a bit of an unknown quantity to us and when we didn't know quite how we were going to automate everything, uh, the TriCaster has, has offered um, solutions that have just made the whole process so much easier and it keeps offering new solutions as well.